but for anyone working in restaurants, hotels, cruise ships, uh, parks, uh, shopping malls, retail, this is the Great Depression. Work has simply disappeared. And that inequality is surely going to have a huge impact. The place where I'm not sure where it'll end up um, is, is this. The global financial crisis, you're absolutely right, had the peculiar effect, uh, despite the fact that it was a crisis caused largely by the irresponsibility of the private sector, it produced a move not left, but right. You ended up almost everywhere with right-wing populism doing well. I think that this pandemic, because it really feels like one of those acts of God, where you know people must look at their lives and say to themselves, I am in this position for no fault of my own. I didn't take on excess debt. I did not manage my business irresponsibly. I, I was not, you know, I was hardworking in my job and I am unemployed. It, it is probably a place where people feel this is where government steps in. This is where we need collective action. So I could imagine that we end up with much greater inequality and therefore a push for governments to do something about that inequality. So I think you are likely to see a much more expanded role for the government, uh, which will, by the way, have a mixed, you know, there will be a loss of efficiency and there will be all kinds of things. Uh, I think there's a way to get it right. As you know, I, I, I'm a fan of the Northern Europeans and, and, the, and particularly the Danes because they actually combine very strong free markets with very strong social protections. But it's a very difficult combination to achieve. Um, and what's more likely to happen is we will move in a more traditionally social democratic direction. So I think there's the, the jury is out in what direction we will go, but there's no question that this rise in inequality is going to have a long-term effect. It will probably shape the next generation of politics.